In this video, I'm gonna to try to demonstrate a new app, Astro Shader, for using an iPhone to take some planetary photos. I have it set up on my Nexstar 6SE, which, let's see if I can put some light on that to show you. So the phone is set up there. I'm just gonna kind of hold my other iPhone to try to show you what I'm doing. So I have Saturn, you can see it there. I have Saturn on my iPhone screen. Try to get that centered as best I can to start out. And I've got it pretty well in focus on the screen. So I just pinch out, kind of do the fingers pulling out to uh, And you can pinch to zoom, you can spread your fingers apart to, whoa, don't want to go that far out. Pull your fingers apart to make Saturn a little bigger. I believe when you zoom, that's kind of the size that your image will be for stacking. So if you hit the settings button down here, you get a whole bunch of settings. So I've got it set for 200 exposures. You can just slide these to adjust your ISO goes higher, it gets brighter. I just have it down around 500. You've got gain, you can adjust, number of exposures, uh, which camera lens you're using. I use a three second timer for the camera so that I can take the photo and let it settle down three seconds from jiggling. White balance, exposure gain, and then you've got alignment features, light, medium, strong. Um, I did medium last time. Let's try strong this time. All right, and I try to get your Saturn to be a little bit underexposed. I don't know if that shows correctly on the phone recording here, but I have it a little bit underexposed, so it's a little dim on the screen. I'm going to tweak my focus a little bit, just using the focus knob on my telescope. I think that's pretty good okay and then I'm gonna take a photo just hit the button and it'll count down three two one and it'll show how long it takes for 200 images or frames to align it goes pretty quickly my telescope does pretty well with staying centered so it says save image I always say cancel and then I can start adjusting things. So you've got like, there's my picture up there. It's a little bright, so I'm gonna pull brightness down just a little bit. And then I don't quite know what smart image calibration, I gotta read about that. I'm just gonna put that in about the middle. Uh, you can adjust your saturation, black point, temperature, tint. I'm gonna leave those as is. Curves you can start playing with, which helps a lot. Uh, I skip shadows for now. So you can bring down the low mid-tones. And the other mid-tones you bring in there. This is high mid-tones. Put that about there. And then highlights. I can just leave that kind of where it was. The sharpen was, helps a lot here. Bring the intensity up. You start seeing it get a little sharper. You can see if you bring this way over there, it starts getting way too much like shadow around the planet. So you just play with these sliders until you get something that looks halfway decent. It's hard to do while I'm holding a camera in front. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and save that up top. I just use PNG, it's saved, go in photos, and there it is. And it's a pretty good picture of Saturn. That was a little tougher one I did versus one I did just a little while ago, came out maybe a little sharper, but not bad of an image for using an iPhone app.